Tub in the Loop and Tide coming at you from Michigan Adventures, aka Middle of Nowhere in Grand Rapids for a wedding. Uh, so swinging over here, been here a couple times before, so nothing new for me, but uh, I never can pass up a chance to ride Shivian Timbers, especially when you have a Platinum Pass nearby. So uh, let's go ahead and let's check out the, the small little park kind of in the middle of nowhere. Most parks have a big grand entrance. This is, uh, this is the entrance plaza to Michigan Adventures. But don't let it fool you. Don't let it fool you. Shiver and Timmers used to be a great ride. Maybe it still is. Let's go check it out. All right, it's time for the epic Shivering Timbers. Looks like there's a little bit of a line. We're gonna check it out. This is the only part of the ride that's like close to the park here. The rest of it just goes out along the, the, the parking lot. So uh, really that, you know, everyone can see it pulling in and then once you're in the park, you can't see the ride at all. Shivering Timbers, wow, what, what a ride. Uh, really enjoyed it the last few times I've been here. Uh, and the good news is, since it's all straight track, it's not that rough, but uh, it holds up pretty well. Uh, those first few hills though, let me tell you, um, you know, you, you, first the first hill you get great air time. Those next two or three big ones going all the way out there. Tons of, uh, tons of great air time. It's running re really, really well. Uh, I always recommend first row of the last car, kind of that magic seat there for wooden roller coasters. Uh, but yeah, just a really great ride. And this is that kind of ride that if you're a wooden roller coaster fan, you have to, you have to make the pilgrimage out here to the middle of nowhere to ride it because it, it's that good. And I, you know, I don't think Voyage is, I'm going to hit you with the hot take. I don't think Voyage is that much, uh, that much better. Like, I think this is probably top five wood coaster for me for sure. Um, you know, right up there with the ranks of like Voyage and uh, El Toro. Uh, it, it, you know, it's a lot of fun. I think the airtime's just as strong as Voyage in a lot of spots and just as strong as El Toro. They have a small train, uh, CP Huntington. Um, you might recognize this kind of like theme to uh, the Cedar Point train station here, but it, it goes around kind of through the woods here. Nothing, nothing too big. This is where I believe the rumored Hypercoaster, well, it was not rumored, it was announced that the Hypercoaster was supposed to go, Morgan Hypercoaster, and then Cedar Fair bought the park and canceled the project back in like 2001. So Wolverine Wildcat has a layout that's very, very, very similar to the Phoenix. Unfortunately, the ride experience is nothing like the Phoenix. All right, that was, that was just as bad and rough and awful as I remember it. And the, the crazy thing is, like, it's based on the Phoenix, and Phoenix is one of the better roller coasters out there. I, I wouldn't agree with the Golden Ticket size number one. Hate me in the comments, but uh, it's one of the better ones out there. How is this one so bad? Like really bad. Dodgems, themed to taxi cabs and police cars. Uh, these actually came from Cedar Point. Uh, this is where uh, Top Show Jackster currently stands. These Dodgems came from from the park. One of the uh, one of the coasters here is just your very simple aero corkscrew model. Nothing too special. This is like pretty much the entire ride plus the, the corkscrew. And like you would expect, nothing spectacular. Just does what it needs to do. Now let me know in the comments if this used to be something else. I feel like this used to be a, a ride pad over here along the water, but nice little beer garden. Uh, uh, right there on the water with uh, pretty cool views, but I swear there used to be a ride here Here's an example of why the park gets a lot of hate is like this is one of the main pathways and There's like no shade Anywhere, it's just concrete In the summer this, it gets hot. I've been here in July before and it is really really hot But uh, one neat thing is uh, You got the mini golf course here uh, I believe it is an upcharge, but uh, nice views of uh, Wolverine Wildcat. You see Shivering Timbers off in the distance, the Hang and Bang over there. Um, nice little place to play mini golf. It doesn't look like a great course though, like not a lot of obstacles or anything like that. Good mini golf course guy have like, at least like a, a windmill or something, right? So this is the main midway here, and again, this is. You know, you see the kind of severe lack of shade uh, kind of going all the way along here, but it, it is nice. There's this, I think probably man-made uh, lake here in the middle of the park. Swan boats from Cedar Point. Uh, we're Maverick. 
is now. Winky the Whale. That might be the best name for a kid's ride. Now, it's been about 20 years since I've been to uh, Michigan Adventures Water Park, uh, maybe 15 or something like that. But remember it being good, and they've only done a lot of updates since. It's fairly big, and that's one of the main reasons why I think a lot of people come here. And as, as much as uh, you know, people kind of hate on the rest of the park, the water park is, um, you know, it goes all the way from over there. You can see a big funnel slide here. And it goes all the way back over there so um you know i'm not i'm not going to review it because uh it doesn't even look fully open today and it's too cold for me but um definitely uh if you're coming here and you like water parks at all that probably gets you the most value for your money is be able to go to the water park there the coma slc need we say more uh it's one of the better ones though surprisingly it, uh, it actually came from a jog lake and i don't know what they quite did when it, it arrived here but it's actually it actually runs better here than it did when it was at at Jagga Lake or Six Flags Ohio or Six Flags World of Adventure. Go figure. Park does have this uh, Morgan uh, antique car or hot rod car ride. Um, and it takes up quite a bit of space. I believe this is uh, besides a couple of water stuff. This is one of the last major additions the park added maybe ten or fifteen years ago. But it's well done for what it is. It's just kind of hard to see out over there but uh really cool hot rod cars zach zoomer is a cci junior coaster uh, i believe it's named after the original park owner's kid uh, it does have buzz bars so uh that's cool uh just a small i mean that's the uh, highest still right there so think like uh uh woodstock express at king's dominion I, that's what the one coaster is called right i just know it as beastie back in the day at king's island i uh, don't know what they call it these days but same kind of concept that as this, this might be a little bit bigger, a little bit more kind of thrilling, but you get the idea. They have another kid coaster here. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent little size for a kid coaster. Kind of hard to see behind the little lighthouse here. Um, this is like right at the front of the park here. It has a little thrill for a for kid's ride. Not bad. Best views of the wild mouse might actually be from the parking lot here. Standard wild mouse, but it is an arrow wild mouse, which is a little bit more unique. I think there's only a couple of them. The other ones at uh, maybe California Great America. Uh, so they, they, it's kind of they have some outward bank turns. Uh, it's actually uh, a fun wild mouse. I prefer it over the spinning variety, but uh, you know something's different. And the cars are little mice. Gotta love it. All right, that wraps up Michigan Adventures. It's a small park. Uh, like I said, the water park is probably your main attraction here besides Shivering Timbers over there. Um, I would not recommend going too far out of your way to come here, even though no matter really how you get here is going out of your way. But if you uh, do enjoy wooden roller coasters and you're like a fan of like the Voyage and Bowler Dash and that kind of rides, you gotta find a way to get out here to ride Shivering Timbers at least once. It, it's, uh, it's that good that it's worth kind of driving in the middle of nowhere. So hope you liked it. Let me know uh, if you've been to a water park and you think that uh, how that ranks uh, since I wasn't able to go. Uh, leave your comments uh, about the water park. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all that stuff.